Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about uh, a parasite or a nematode called as a treacherous treachura. It is also known as <coughs> whip worm because its shape, the adult worm's shape looks like a whip where uh, posterior end is thick and anterior end is uh, thin. That's why we call it as whip worm. <coughs> Geographical distribution of this parasite is worldwide, uh, but it is more common in warm and moist regions like tropics and subtropics. Habitat, uh, it is usually found in cecum and appendix. Morphological forms, so adult worm, as I have already told you, they look like whip, as you can see. The posterior uh, two-fifth portion is very thick, uh, and the anterior three-fifth portion is very thin, and that gives it a whip-like uh, impression right and this anterior portion it remains embedded in mucosa of uh, cecum and appendix so the anterior end it remains embedded and what you can see is the posterior portion of this uh, parasite uh, when you do uh, colonoscopy or so at anterior end you have esophagus, at posterior end there are sex organs which are there. The male worm is coiled ventrally like this one. Female has comma shaped ventrally and female is oviparous that means it will lay eggs. And from this egg the larval form will develop and which will develop into adult worm. The egg of uh, this parasite is very characteristic as you can see it is uh, brown in color it has a double shell as you can see one and two uh, the outer one is more bile stained right it is barrel in shape it has mucus plug at each pole and this is the characteristic finding by which we can identify the egg of this parasite and it has an unsegmented ovum there is no segments in this ovum and it floats in saturated solution of salt coming to life cycle it has only one host uh, there are no intermediate host so this one host will act as a definitive as well as intermediate host that means adult worm as well as larval form everything will be there in this host and that host is humans or man mode of infection the freshly passed eggs are not infective to man so uh, if we ingest the eggs which have embryo the freshly passed egg they have just unsegmented ovum they have mucus plug and there is an unsegmented ovum but in environment this uh, will develop into an embryonated egg which has a uh, larva inside it so if you ingest this embryonated egg uh, which has this rapidity form larva inside it uh, they are actually the infective form right so let us understand the life cycle now that there is only one host that is man so everything will happen inside man so freshly passed eggs uh, with unsegmented ovum they are not infective eggs will become embryonated in water or in damp environment and which may take three to four weeks in tropics a much longer time in temperate countries uh, if you ingest these embryonated eggs which are infective form this egg shell will be dissolved by digestive juices and the larva will now come out of this embryonated egg and then th this larva will 
try to find out its uh, destination or habitat that is cecum and appendix where it grows into adult worms the anterior end of this worm are embedded in mucosa and this worm then sexually matures into male and female worms and then fertilization will happen and the female worms can now release the egg and that's how the entire life cycle will repeat it again so let us look at it in a diagrammatic form which i have made so what is the infective form infective form is this embryonated egg mode of infection is ingestion as soon as it you ingest it it will be destroyed by uh, digestive juices and the larva will come out this larva will now go to the habitat that is cecum and appendix here it will mature into male and female adult worms the male will fertilize the female and the female is oviparous so it will lay eggs these eggs are uh, non embryonated it contains unsegmented ovum and they are not infective right and in environment in water or damp environment it will become embryonated clinical condition is known as trichuriasis uh, most of them they usually do not cause any pathogenicity but when you have a very heavy worm load it may cause uh, appendicitis which may result in abdominal pain or mucus diarrhea with blood streak stool sometimes weight loss and if it is too much heavy infection then it the, it may spread up to the rectum and it may cause prolapse of rectum diagnosis uh, obviously stool microscopy is the easiest way to diagnose this condition uh, we can see the eggs with typical mucus plug at each pole with unsegmented ovum inside it so if less than 10 eggs you can see in one smear we consider it as light infection if more than 50 eggs per smear are seen we consider it as heavy infection uh, so in clinical diseases uh, usually we expect this occasionally we can even see an entire adult worm inside the stool sometimes eggs will not be peculiar in shape you can see various uh, shapes apart from barrel shape but this mucus plug will always be there to guide you that okay this is the egg of trichuris uh, trichuria proctoscopy you can see the posterior end of the worm embedded in the mucosa uh, and that's how it is sometimes uh, entire <coughs> rectal mucosa is uh, filled with such posterior ends of worm and it is known as coconut cake rectum right treatment is uh, thabendazole albendazole or mabendazole you can even use ivermectin prophylaxis disposal of night soil and <coughs> avoid any consumption of uh, uncooked vegetables and fruits thank you stay tuned for more videos uh, if you like this video Subscribe to this channel so whenever I upload a new video you get a regular update about it. If you find this video useful, share it with your friends and goodbye.